All right, guys, we're going to move on to the rudder and the elevator now. For this reinforcement strip, or pole rather, that's in here, I just added a little glue to the channel, stuck it down in there. I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes before we flip it over and install the servo. While that is happening, we can work on the rudder. So this part is already done. See the channel where the servo cable is going to go up through, or down through rather. Okay. Rudder is complete. So there's the rudder with it installed, ready to go. Okay, everybody, we're going to make the wings functional. <clears throat> or, sorry, make the elevator functional, make the ailerons and flaps functional. Hold it with both hands when you do this so you don't break one, okay? Get it up, trim this piece off if you can, cut it out, make sure it's not dragging. So over here we've got a little flashing left, we can cut it off. Back up in here. So I'm just going to, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm just going to kind of knock this little piece out right here. There we go. So what we've what we're left with is Okay, so I've been considering covering the wings, and I, I really think I'm going to. Uh, you know, ben showed that he used packing tape to cover them, and you know, that's, that's, that's a great idea. Um, I won't use packing tape, though. Instead, like I said, I've been thinking about it, and I think I'm going to do this. I have uh, some very thin, but I think it's perfect for this. Just 1.7 millimeter laminating film. I think it will work really well for this. I'm just going to lay it out over it really quick see what we've got. Let's do 
just start this thing and flip it over. got a good three inches on both sides. This stuff tears easy, so. I normally just put some uh, strapping tape along the leading edge of the wing. However, I can see how this would definitely help. I've got a uh, Right above the GoPro, you can't see it. There's the uh, Chimera wing, and it's laminated, but it's laminated with three millimeter, so it's going to be a lot more uh, rigid. So, all right. Dull side down. Monocoat iron. All right. So let's just let that heat up for a couple minutes. It's ready. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of tack it so it doesn't move. There we go. Now I'm gonna kind of move quick with this because I don't want to. I don't want to burn the foam. Definitely keep it moving. Don't let it stop in one spot. I'm just taking it across the wing really quick. Now we can work it we can work it out. I've heard different people uh, say different things about laminating EPO temperature your monocoat iron should be. I have this one set to three right now, which is almost high. Or almost, I should say, almost as high as it goes. Um, I find that this is fine. Like I said, just keep it moving. Don't let it sit in any one place for too long. And we'll find out just how thin this laminating film really is. Thank you. 
Okay. There it is. Both wings laminated. <laughs>